Hey everyone, welcome back to another coding series. In this series, we're going to be creating a website that is fully hosted by github.com. If you haven't already, make sure to go create a github account and we'll start from there. This series will probably only have um, two or three, maybe three episodes um, because we only need to make the website and get it hosted this episode and then get a domain for it next episode. So yeah, let's get on to the video guys. Okay, so once you're on github, head over to the plus icon next to your avatar, click, click it and then click new repository. In the repository name, we're going to name it our website name, so I'm going to call it tutorial website and then we need to put .github.io. This is important for it to turn into a github pages um, repository. Make sure it's public and click create repository. Now what we need to do is edit this in desktop mode. So you'll need to download the GitHub desktop app, which I'll leave a link to in the description, and then we can just open that. Okay, head over to the GitHub desktop app and open it. Once it opened, we need to clone our repository. Go over to the add button and click clone repository. In here, select your tutorial repository. It should be tutorialwebsite.github.io or whatever you named yours. Click clone. Now it will start to clone your website. To get started, we need to actually head over and add our um, website files. So I'm going to head over to my file location of the website which should be in the documents under a folder called github and then the folder of your repository. I've already created a website which you can find um, on the home of m692.tk um, so we'll just copy the files from that website. I'll leave a link to my website in the description. Now we'll paste that in there. And we can head over to our repository. In here you'll see all the changes. So what we've got to do now is add a summary for our changes. So just write something like um, added website. You can basically do whatever you like here. Click commit to master and then it will start syncing to github. Now we need to click publish branch and then it will push it to the origin and do everything else. So I'm just going to skip through this part and get back when it's done. Okay, our repository has finished syncing to GitHub. Now all we need to do is minimize our desktop app and head over to the website. Over here we refresh the page by clicking on the name. And now we need to set up GitHub pages. To do this we need to head over to the settings of this repository. In here scroll down to the bottom and find GitHub pages. For the source we need to click master branch. Click save and then it's done. Now we need to quickly change our name otherwise it will look weird for our domain. So head over to the top and just take out the dot in github.io. Wait for that to load and click rename. Now we can find our hosted website. Click on one environment and then click new deployment. To get, if you get a 404 error, just make sure you need to move to .github.io. This will be your URL. As you can see, it is reading all the HTML and CSS files and all the website files. It's loaded in my website I created. As you can see, all the pages are working and everything is working. 
the next episode we'll implement the first, first class domain, such as a .tk or .ml. All these are free domains and you don't have to pay anything. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this shorter video today, um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.